Hi guys, it's Jade and today we're talking about compression and telephoto lenses. And I brought with me my gorgeous model, Matt. Hey girl. Hey. <laughs> so what's a telephoto lens? What? A telephoto lens. Do you want to give me the mic? <laughs> oh. Look, people talk a lot about compression and telephoto lenses, and I think there's a bit of confusion about what it really means. I want to argue that there's three different types of compression that are going on when you go to a longer focal length on your lens. The first one is actually your subject. So when you're on a wide lens, it's stretching everything out, so you get some weird distortion. When you're on a tele lens, if anything, it goes past being no distortion to squeezing things towards the middle, compressing them in. The second one is compression of the background in a square kind of format. So when you're on a wide lens, it's taking in a huge amount of the background. As you go into a longer lens, it compresses the background that way, whilst keeping your subject frame the same. And the third one, which is an offshoot of that second one, is that it starts to stack things up. Because you get a compressed field of view in the background, everything that is there looks like it's kind of on top of each other. You would have seen that when they're shooting like the 100 meter sprints. So I'm gonna take some shots here of Jade, or unless she wants to do it for me. Um. I'll do it. Um, from 24 mil through to 200 mil, keeping the frame the same on her, and just look at those three different forms of compression I was talking about. Okay, to kick things off, here we are at 200 mil. It's kind of hard to tell, but those people who are walking are all at least six foot behind. That guy with his arms that just walked past was probably about 16 foot behind her. So you can see there's no distortion on her and everyone who's walking past looks like they're right behind her, even though between her and that thing in the background, there's a huge amount of distance. All of the people are just stacked up and look like they're all walking on basically the same plane. Okay, here we are at 135. You can see the background still compressed in the sense of we're not seeing much of it. And what is in the background is kind of stacked up on top of her. She still has no distortion though. So 135 for this kind of thing works quite well. Okay, here at 70 mil, you can see we still kept the same crop on her, but now we can make out there's two of those little chinese dragon things in the background, and the compression is starting to fall away even more. Okay, here we are at 24 mil. Way closer, I can almost touch her from this distance, but you can see we're just getting a huge amount of the background. If I drop the exposure, you can see the city in the distance there and it's just expanded out the field of view at the edge. She's been distorted out and stretched out and uh, it's decompressed in every one of those three axes that I spoke of. So hopefully you could see that compression working in all different levels. Can you tell what focal length we're on now? That's 70 mil. So there's still a fair bit of compression in the background, not a wide field of view, and it's stacking up the background on top of us. But at 70 mil, there's not much going on with us. So keep that in mind. Longer focal lengths, you eliminate the stretching distortion on your foreground or anything on the edges of frame, and it may even start to stretch just a little bit in towards the center. Your frame goes from pulling in everything out really wide on a wide angle lens to just getting a really compressed in ways view in the background on a longer lens and it stacks up everything in the background deeper on you as well. Do you get all that? She's an excellent teacher. She just explained that to me like 30 seconds before passing me the mic. Amazing. 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 Yeah. So I hope that all made sense, guys. Please do subscribe so you stay up to date with my next uploads. Check out the links in the caption for Jade's different pages. You can jump over to the website, get involved on the forum and sign up for the mailing list. And we'll see you soon. You might also like to check out my video explaining the difference between f-stops and t-stops and my four-part series comparing the Canon, Nikon and Tamron 70 to 200 28 lenses. Hello. Are you that I'm I'm his twin. Really? Yeah. No, you it, are him, right? I am him. I really love your videos. Seriously, thank you. thank you for making them. They've Let, let's get lot. you in this because people don't think I have it. Well, I didn't think I had any female viewers, so we <laughs> should make sure you're in this video. What do you do? Are you a YouTuber as well? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just going with my sister. VIP? <laughs> Who's your sister? Michelle. She's just in there watching the YouTubers. Oh, okay. But there's no one that I like in there. I like your videos. Oh, oh. <laughs> Have we got her payment? Did you? you no. <laughs> uh, how come I'm not in there? It's a little bit small, isn't it? Yeah, it's really small, yeah. And I'm not a big fan of lines. I might go oh, back you know? in um, yeah. Dietrich's if he's going to perform. Yeah, he's I'd like there, to see yeah. him. And meet him on Friday. He's like cool. 
Okay, he was judging when I was in there before. Oh, was he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for yeah, saying hi. That's okay. What's your name, sorry? Catherine. Nice to meet you, Catherine. It's so nice to meet enjoy you. Enjoy the show. I'm happy to see you today. Oh, you made my day. <laughs> you enjoy okay. your McFlurry. Thank you. Bye. Can you smell weed? Yeah. <laughs> Big time, huh? Do you think it's Catherine? <laughs> so I finally get a female viewer and she's a mad stoner. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. I'll give you 20 bucks if you um, go ask him for a drag of whatever it is he's smoking. 50 if you do it in a Jamaican accent. What do you say? 50 bucks. Mm. What? 50 bucks and you might get high. <laughs> no, so 135 for this kind of thing works quite well. 